love the Pixel devices but don't have the money to buy it, well, you don't have to spend too much in order to get the Pixel look and feel. Now don't get me wrong, we all love the simple and clean look of Pixel devices and some of you may already know that Pixel 3 Duo has already been leaked in the flesh and now we know how the device is gonna look and what would be the specifications. This is how the UI of Pixel 3 is gonna look and that's exactly why today I'm going to show you how you can achieve Pixel 3 look on any Android devices without rooting it. Excited? So let's get started. First up, let's change the launcher. The launcher if you aren't familiar is an app basically that is just summoned whenever you hit the home button on your phone and then allows you to launch other apps from it. This is probably the single biggest change you can make to your Android phone so let's start there. To get the Pixel 3 home screen look, you can go with the rootless Pixel launcher by Amir Zedi, which is directly ported from the Pixel devices and this is one of the closest looking launcher to the Pixel device with several additional and exciting features to get your hands on. In this launcher, you will have access to Google Now panel on the left side of the home screen which you can enable by just installing the Bridge app as well as a new search bar at the bottom of the home screen which when swiped up will reveal the app drawer. Also in this launcher, there is a support for icon packs, meaning you can change the icon packs according to your liking. The launcher is very smooth with almost no lag. Next up we have the Pixel 3 Live Wallpapers which is also recently leaked and we still have 2 weeks to go until the official unveiling event. These including a whopping 28 new live wallpapers of the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL. These new wallpapers have a variety of different designs that range from real life locations to abstract art. There is something here for everyone and I personally really like the majority of them. Each wallpaper reacts to something in some way. For example, the bloom and burst option reacts to touch and long presses, while others like city silhouette, light the way and marvelous marvel all reacts to the time of day. What makes these wallpapers really unique and fun though is that they extend to the Pixel's ambient display. This is similar to Samsung's Infinity wallpaper. You can try these wallpapers out for yourself. XTA Developers has a port available that works on any Android smartphone. You can simply download the APK file and install it. Next up we can change the icon pack to the pixel icons and there are lots of pixel icons available but the one that I think looks amazing is the Pixup icon pack which is a pixel inspired icon pack with a little twist. I mean it's all circle and colorful but it does not stop there. The developer has put in some extra effort to create a unique design for the betterment of the overall iconography and user experience. Other than that, if you want to try some different shaped pixel icons then just go with pixel drop icon pack which is an elegantly designed teardrop shaped icon pack. It's like stock icons as it keeps their official colors but with teardrop shape. Each icon is very detailed and of extremely high quality. So now if you will take a closer look over your device and compare it with the leaks of Pixel 3, you will find that it looks exactly similar. So that's how you can achieve the Pixel 3 look on any Android device. Now as we all know that Pixel 3 will be shipped with Android Pie out of the box. So it will have some amazing Android Pie features right? So let's see how we can get that too. Google revamped the overall notification panel in its latest Android 9.0 Pi release. Using the new PowerShade app, you can immediately apply the latest Android Pi notification panel on your current smartphone. On top of getting you the latest Android Pi design, through this utility, you can customize it even further to make it your own. The mod supports different layouts, color option and extra toggles. Also to access all basic functionality, you don't need to root your device but if you do have root, the app provides extra features. The Android Pie now offers a different volume slider. Instead of regular controls that would normally appear on the top of the screen, the new volume slider in Android P has been moved to the right edge of the screen. Volume controls Android P mimics the look of the volume slider from the Android P. So if you like the look of that slider but don't own a device that has Android P just yet, then you can get that using this app. Perhaps the most prominent Android Pie feature is the software's wacky and widely ambitious new gesture navigation system. On Pixel phones at least, you can ditch the traditional Android back, home and overview button combo and replace it with single pill that lets you get around your device with a variety of taps and swipes. 
An app called Navigation Gesture aims to replicate the same concept with a healthy dose of added customization. It puts a pill at the bottom of your screen that you can tap to return home, long press to open assistant, swipe left to go back or swipe right to open your overview screen. You can change any of those gestures and add a new ones. There is really no shortage of possibility with this thing. Android Pie also introduces a new system that puts a small icon in the corner of your screen whenever the device senses it's being rotated. That way you can quickly and easily tap it if you want your screen to be rotated instead of having the screen automatically rotate itself. You can get this same feature by using an app called Dynamic Rotation Control. It allows you to swap between rotation lock modes without enabling auto rotation. Just open the app and press the start button in the bottom right corner. It will ask you to grant two permission and you are done. The final feature worth mentioning is Lockdown Mode. Android Pie users can tap the power button followed by Lockdown to disable the fingerprint sensor, which will prevent user from unlocking the phone via biometrics. As with the other feature, you can get this feature too by installing an app called Lockdown. So there you have it guys, this is how you can get Pixel 3 look and features on any Android device without rooting it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you do then do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.